Hello everyone, good morning. Today's video is going to be a meal prep video. I know how much you guys love these whenever I post them. They just get like a lot higher views than normal. My cats are getting on my last nerve, but it seems like you guys really seem to enjoy these videos. So we are doing another one today. I actually just went grocery shopping and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. The two meals that we're making for this meal prep today is like a chicken parm, but like obviously healthier, and then a teriyaki chicken rice broccoli moment. Ignore the margarita over there. That is definitely not part of the meal prep. This is everything that I kind of got. A lot of it's just restock stuff, but I'll go through it all with you guys because a lot of it is ingredients for the meal prep. So I got some green onion. I needed more coffee. I really like the blonde roast from Starbucks, so I got that. Needed more paprika, some jasmine rice, my favorite pasta, because we'll be using this today for the pasta dish that we're making. Protein pasta, it's so good. I think it tastes better than regular pasta. Um, some breadcrumbs, I always get the seasoned ones. We're gonna bread some of the chicken. Sometimes for lunch, if I want something really easy instead of a meal prep, I get tuna because I'm obsessed with tuna sandwiches. They're just so good. Tuna buffalo sandwiches. I got two things of teriyaki sauce for one of the meal preps. I needed more butter. This is the butter that I always get. I use it for like my rice and stuff. Pure Irish butter from Kerrygold. I think it's the best butter you can buy. And then I obviously got some pasta sauce. The Rayo's Arrabbiata is my favorite. But then I also just got some plain tomato sauce to kind of like mix the two together. And then I got some plain protein Greek yogurt staple in my fridge. Like I go through this so quick because I either mix it with peanut butter and have it with apples or I add it to pasta. I add it to everything, you guys. Taco dishes. It's so versatile. Like you will go through this so quick. I know it seems like a lot. But trust me, I go through it within like four days. It's crazy. Um, I got a ton of broccoli, three honey crisp apples to have as a good dessert at the end of the night. Like I said, I did get peanut butter, bunch of avocados. These ones are pretty small, so I got five. Normally I only get four. And then some Parmesan cheese to like sprinkle on top for a little added effect. And then two things of chicken breast and a red onion. That's everything that I got. So I'm gonna start by like organizing my fridge, putting this stuff away. It's pretty early, it's only 8:20, and i'm already done with the grocery shop so i'm feeling pretty good we'll get started with the meal prep asap cooking for majority of the morning but I wanted to talk about blessed with you guys really quickly in this video if you guys didn't know I am a blessed and EHP athlete and I absolutely love the protein powders from blessed I use them every single day I've every single flavor I've tried out I really like my favorites are probably blueberry pie and banana bread but the chocolate milk in coffee is next level literally I add a scoop in before I brew my coffee and then I brew hot coffee right into the chocolate milk protein. It blends so well, it's insane. You can barely taste it in your coffee. I only have to add a little bit of milk or a little bit of creamer to it. You don't have to add nearly as much flavor to your coffee if you don't like it black like me, if you like it kind of very sweet. This is like a good substitute because you're getting your protein in and you're not adding a ton of sugars from um, like additives like creamer. You guys are unaware, Blessed is a plant-based protein. They have so many different flavors. They have a lot of, you know, really staple basic ones, and then they are also known for their more crazy exotic flavors like banana bread and blueberry pie, which are two of my favorites. The blueberry pie is like out of this world. My coffee is done being brewed, and now I just mix it up. And if you want to, if you want to get it like perfectly mixed, go ahead and use a frother. It'll be like perfection. It kind of makes it nice and thick, almost like a hot chocolate. So good, and I'm sure this would be good in iced coffee too. I've just been on um, a hot coffee kick for the past couple months. Like I said, it's plant-based, 23 grams of protein per serving. I have a protein shake pretty much every day, and then I also love using the chocolate milk in my coffee. So I have like two servings of protein powder pretty much every single day. 
and I love it. And I noticed that using a protein that's plant-based as opposed to whey helps with my skin so much. When I was using whey protein, my skin was breaking out so much more. So I really like switching over to a plant-based protein. And if you guys wanna go check them out, they have such amazing products. And you guys know I love OxyStride as well, which is like a pre-workout. So they have a lot of different options for you. Um, my discount code is Molly10. If you wanna support me, feel free. They have a lot of New Year's sales going on right now and just like different bundles you can buy and try out. So definitely make sure to go check out the link in the description box to try them out for yourselves. Yeah, I'm gonna have my coffee while we make the first meal, which is gonna be the pasta i already took out all the ingredients so i'll go through those right now with you guys so you can make sure you have everything all right so here's an overview of everything i'm going to be using for this at least i'm pretty positive this is all that i'm going to use of course we have chicken we're going to bake the chicken and instead of doing like an egg wash where you do you know dip it in the egg and then dip it in the breadcrumb i'm just going to do a mayonnaise greek yogurt mixture on top and then add breadcrumbs over that i just like that better and it's a little bit it's just a little bit less messy and I find that with meal preps you want to make sure that the chicken and like the meats and whatever you use stays moist and like fresh as long as possible so that's like a little hack that I like to do um, so anyways I have a bunch of chicken some yellow onion bell pepper which I wasn't gonna do these two I just have so many bell peppers in my fridge that I need to use up so I'm gonna use one today mine as well and then I have some Parmesan cheese that will add on top of course like I said some Greek yogurt lemon juice the pasta sauces that i just showed you guys as for seasonings i have paprika cayenne pepper black pepper crushed red pepper this is my new favorite the red hot seasoning so good and garlic powder then we have some mayonnaise the breadcrumbs and the pasta so this one's actually like pretty simple you guys will see nothing too crazy but gonna be so good So I preheated the oven to 375. I'm about to put the chicken in. You guys saw me making it 
pretty straightforward, but I'll go over it. I seasoned the chicken with all the seasonings that I showed you guys and the lemon juice, mixed it all together, plated the chicken down in this little casserole dish with a little bit of olive oil at the bottom mixed around so that way things don't stick. And then after the chicken, I did the mostly Greek yogurt. You guys saw me mix it. I don't know, probably 75% Greek yogurt, 25% mayonnaise mix that together i added a lot of the seasonings that i seasoned the chicken with into that the greek yogurt mixture but just not as much just a little bit of it so that way it's not as plain so i added all those seasonings i spooned that on top mixed it all in and then i added breadcrumbs at the top i know it sounds really weird like greek yogurt on chicken but it's really good and the greek yogurt is just so versatile that it doesn't really taste like you would think it would. You can go with savory meals or sweet meals, so that's why I love it so much. And the one I'm using is a protein Greek yogurt, so it's like an added bonus there. It's a little bit healthier for you than, say, sour cream or mayonnaise, like today. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in the oven now at 375 for about 45 minutes. Just keep an eye on it, depending on your oven. But around 45 minutes should be good to get everything nice and marinated together.
All right, everyone, I have the washing machine running, so ignore that in the background, but meal number one is all done. It was very straightforward, obviously. Just cook the pasta, add the sauce in. I did mostly just the tomato sauce, and then the rayos on top, and a little bit in the mix, and then add the peppers and onions that you saute. Top it with the chicken, which I added a little bit of Parmesan to the chicken just to make it extra tasty. And then I topped it off with a little bit more sauce, as you can see, and some Italian seasoning. And we are done. This is probably the easiest meal prep I've done in a long time. I like it because you can just put the chicken in the oven. You have like an hour. Oh, that's what I meant to say is that I did leave the chicken in there for more so like an hour, not 45 minutes. So just keep that in mind. And I did broil it for a little bit at the end as well. Just kind of depends on how, you know, your oven cooks it. But yeah, looks super good. Smells really good. High protein, good meal that will fill you up. This is just one of my favorite things to eat. Simple go-to meal. And you could even take some bread, just like regular bread, toast it up and add a little bit of minced garlic and a little bit of butter onto it. And you can have like a healthier garlic bread. But yeah, meal one is done. I'm gonna get started on meal two pretty soon. Hello everyone, it is a little while later. Now I have the dryer going, so you can probably hear the dryer, but I'm very clearly freshly showered. My hair is soaking wet, but I feel so much better. Even though I'm going to the gym tonight, I still showered now because I just wanted to feel clean. I don't know, I just didn't feel, I wasn't feeling it before, but I feel good now. We're making the second meal prep, which is gonna be a teriyaki chicken, rice, broccoli bowl moment. So it's actually really simple. I took all the ingredients out and I'm like, this is it. Relatively cheap, I guess, as well. I am gonna add a couple other things to it and I'm gonna use other things like olive oil and butter and then I'm gonna add green onion on top of the rice. But yeah, this is literally everything you need, at least I think. I don't really know. I have my rice here. I really like this brand of rice and now it says sustainable on it. That's new. But this is the jasmine rice and I really like it. And then we have some teriyaki sauce, chicken tenders again, and broccoli. That's everything. Besides, like I said, like butter and olive oil and seasonings, this is like the gist of it. So I'm gonna start by cutting up all the broccoli. And then just so you guys know, I am gonna air fry my chicken, but you can always pan fry it. I just personally feel like using the air fryer today, so we're going with it. I have YouTube playing, but I cut up all the broccoli into like more bite-sized pieces. I poured some olive oil, massaged it into the broccoli, and then I just seasoned it with paprika. Real focus. I like to use this just because it adds color to whatever you season. And then also lemon pepper. And then I'm gonna add, after 20 minutes of it roasting in the oven, I'm gonna add lemon juice, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and put it back in for like another 10, 15 minutes. I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees, so I'm gonna put this in right now.
just seasoned the chicken. I did olive oil and then I'll show you guys. I did like a lower sodium teriyaki sauce the first time around and then towards the end I'm gonna add this one in but not the first time it goes in the air fryer. For the seasonings lineup, I did spicy Montreal steak, my favorite seasoning on chicken, crushed red pepper, this is kind of new for me, seasoned salt, and then some garlic powder. Kept it pretty simple, I'm gonna bring this over here. I have the air fryer heating up, which I'll try and link this air fryer down below in case you guys want my exact one. I'm honestly in the market for a new one myself though because I want one a little bit bigger, so if you guys have any suggestions, let a girl know. Um, but the other, okay, it is preheated. The other sauce I used is this teriyaki, less sodium. It's very thin, whereas the other one is a lot thicker, so I'll add that one towards the end. Okay, we get it. broccoli out of the oven after 20 minutes of it being on 400 degrees and I added this grated Parmesan cheese some lemon juice which I wish I had real lemon juice I just don't have any fresh lemons on me right now I forgot to get some at the grocery store so I've just been using this and then a little bit of sea salt I just tasted it and it tastes so good already I just put it back in the oven for like another six minutes or so because I like mine extra crispy totally up to you on your preference but Wow. Also, the rice is cooking and I royally messed this up. So we're going to see how it ends up. I accidentally burnt it. As you can see, there are some burnt pieces, which I kind of like, but this is really justifying a rice cooker. I need one. The issue is just that my kitchen is so small. I don't have space for anything else, but I can always put it in the storage unit, I guess. Almost done with the first round of chicken as well. I do it on the chicken setting, which is 360 for, let me think, I do 10 minutes, take it out, mix it all around, and do another like eight to nine minutes, and it should be pretty perfect. And then I have the second round right here. Also the broccoli, 10 out of 10. Literally the best broccoli I've ever made. You guys know I really like to roast broccoli, but I've never added lemon juice and Parmesan cheese before for some reason changed the game and the rice is all done as well which I think I made way too much rice for only six meal preps but we'll have to see but yeah broccoli the best broccoli I've ever made here is the final look at meal number two you guys know I used to do three meal preps a week but I feel like two is a happy medium where I can have meal preps ready whenever I need them but I can also cook if I want to without feeling like I'm wasting food so I always do two and I like to do six just because some days I have more some days I have less you know some days I'll only have two some days I'll have three it just kind of works out well for me this way but I added the green onion chicken broccoli Everything in this meal is so good. I'm so excited to eat this. The teriyaki chicken is fire. And so is the broccoli, you guys know. So I am amped to eat this throughout the week. Looks so good. I definitely made way too much rice, but other than that, 
did a good job and I'm really excited about this one. It's also just a little bit different than the normal meals that I make, like different flavors and things like that. So go me. So this is actually going to conclude, I guess, this meal prep video since that's all I'm going to be meal prepping. Let me know if you guys want to see a what I eat in a day video very soon because I could totally do that. I feel like I haven't done one in a good little bit. So let me know if you want to see one. I'm always down. My camera is flashing so I kind of have to go quick but for the first time I swear I promise you guys I'm gonna leave the directions and like I'm gonna leave the exact recipes that I went through with for this meal prep down below. My camera died, I switched out the battery, but I was just gonna say goodbye. Thumbs up this video if you guys like meal preps. You guys can check out a playlist that I'll leave linked down below with like all the meal preps that I've done over the years because I've definitely done quite a few. I love meal prepping, it's so convenient. And honestly, the meals that I make taste good a couple days in. Like you don't have to just do plain chicken, broccoli and rice, like you can, even though I just did this, broccoli chicken and rice recipe I spiced it up with different flavors you know I made sure to cook things in a way that's going to last over time and that is what is key to meal prepping and not getting bored and that's why I like to do multiple kind of like dinner slash lunches because you won't get bored because you can switch it up which ones you have which ones you don't have yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna put these in the fridge get myself to the gym but I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video very soon bye